Today's lecture focuses on the assessment of adolescent health. We will cover various aspects such as growth and pubertal development, cognitive abilities, mental health screening, sexual and reproductive health, substance use, nutrition, academic performance, family dynamics, cultural competence, and legal considerations. Let's begin with growth and pubertal development. During adolescence, healthcare professionals must accurately assess physical growth, secondary sexual characteristics, and timing of pubertal milestones. This can be done through measurements like height, weight, and BMI, as well as evaluating secondary sexual characteristics using tools like the Tanner Scale. The adolescent brain undergoes significant cognitive changes, including the development of abstract reasoning skills and executive functions. Abstract reasoning allows individuals to think beyond concrete situations and consider hypothetical scenarios. Executive functions, on the other hand, involve skills such as problem solving, decision making, and impulse control. Understanding these cognitive changes is crucial in assessing an adolescent's academic performance and overall cognitive abilities. It also enables healthcare professionals to identify potential neurodevelopmental issues, such as attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, ADHD, or learning disabilities, that may impact an adolescent's daily functioning and educational attainment. Assessing cognitive abilities provides valuable insights into an adolescent's strengths, weaknesses, and specific areas that may require additional support or intervention. In summary, Assessing an adolescent's psychosocial history and contextual factors, such as family dynamics, peer relationships, educational background, and cultural influences, is important for understanding their overall well-being and tailoring care to their specific needs. Adolescents are frequently affected by mental health disorders, which can have a significant impact on their overall well-being. It is essential for healthcare professionals to accurately identify and diagnose these disorders. Standardized screening tools, like the PHQA, can help identify symptoms, while diagnostic criteria outlined in the DSM-5 provide guidelines for diagnosing specific conditions. Examples of common disorders include depression, anxiety disorders, and disruptive behavior disorders. Early identification and intervention are critical for improving outcomes and promoting mental well-being in adolescents. Sexual and reproductive health education plays a critical role in promoting healthy behaviors and preventing adverse outcomes in adolescents. Healthcare professionals should provide comprehensive and evidence-based sexual education to adolescents, which includes information on contraception methods, prevention of sexually transmitted infections, STIs, and addressing reproductive health concerns. It is important to provide accurate and age-appropriate information to adolescents, considering their developmental stage and cultural background. This education should encompass topics such as healthy relationships, consent, responsible sexual behavior, and understanding the importance of regular sexual health checkups. By equipping adolescents with the knowledge and skills necessary to make informed decisions regarding their sexual and reproductive health, healthcare professionals can empower them to take control of their well-being and reduce potential risks. Substance abuse among adolescents is a major concern with health implications. Validated tools, like Saucy or Craft, help assess substance use. Risk factors include family history and mental health conditions. Effective interventions, like counseling and referral, play a crucial role in recovery. During adolescence, healthcare professionals must accurately identify and assess risk behaviors such as self-harm, suicidal thoughts, and risky sexual behaviors. Validated tools like the CSSRS or Safe Teen Screening Tool aid in assessment. Prompt intervention and collaboration with mental health professionals are essential in providing support and ensuring the safety of at-risk adolescents. During adolescence, it is important for healthcare professionals to assess an individual's nutritional status, dietary habits, and body image concerns to identify potential eating disorders. Understanding diagnostic criteria and approaching the assessment with sensitivity can help provide appropriate interventions and referrals to specialized treatment programs. Prompt identification and intervention are crucial in preventing long-term complications and promoting a healthy relationship with food and body image. Academic performance plays a significant role in an adolescent's overall well-being and future opportunities. Healthcare professionals should assess an adolescent's academic achievements and identify any potential learning disabilities or challenges that may hinder their educational progress. Assessing academic performance involves obtaining information about an adolescent's school performance, attendance, and engagement. It can be complemented by additional assessments, such as cognitive testing or evaluations for specific learning disabilities. Identifying learning disabilities allows healthcare professionals to recommend appropriate support and accommodations to facilitate an adolescent's educational journey. This may involve collaborating with teachers, educational psychologists, or specialized learning support services within schools. 
By addressing educational challenges, healthcare professionals can contribute to creating an environment that promotes academic success and overall well-being in adolescents. Family dynamics and parental involvement significantly impact adolescent well-being and healthcare decision-making. Professionals should assess parental support, communication quality, emotional support, involvement in decisions, and treatment adherence. Addressing concerns through collaboration and support fosters better healthcare outcomes and overall well-being. In summary, cultural competence and recognizing social determinants of health are key when assessing adolescents from diverse backgrounds. Addressing healthcare disparities and being culturally sensitive can improve care for all adolescents. In the assessment of adolescent health, healthcare professionals must prioritize the legal and ethical aspects, including privacy, confidentiality, and informed consent. Respecting these considerations helps establish trust and protect the rights of adolescents. In conclusion, assessing adolescent health requires knowledge and physical growth, cognitive abilities, mental health, substance use, nutrition, academic performance, family dynamics, cultural competence, and legal and ethical considerations. Using assessment tools, standardized criteria, and communication skills, healthcare professionals can provide comprehensive care. By addressing the multifaceted aspects of adolescent health, we can promote their overall development and well-being.